Alrighty, welcome back everyone. It's Garland here bringing you another Neverwinter video. Uh, and today we are going to continue our Lockbox Guides playlist. Uh, today on the list we have the <clears throat> Lockbox of the Lost. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. Uh, so right off the bat uh, we have the new Legendary Mount. It's the Legendary Carpet of Flying. Uh, however, it's of course not a flying mount it is just a hovering mount sort of like the tensor's disc so if we go ahead and look at it uh the combat power is not very good unfortunately and it's 4000 defense uh so there are some specific builds out there that you know still use defense and rely on defense so if you wanted to pick one of these up then that's uh, completely up to you if we go ahead and take a look at it it's honestly nothing special uh, the only special thing about this is that it's the first uh, mount in Neverwinter that can actually transport two players at the same time. Uh, however, I am very disappointed in this as this is a very kind of bland mount. It's literally just a flying carpet, guys. Uh, unfortunately, you know, I would have liked to see them bring that new feature into the game with something, you know, extravagant. Maybe some kind of dragon uh, or some kind of big mount, even if they would have introduced the feature with the T-Rex mount. Uh, they could have held off on the feature down the line until they could have developed a better looking mount. Um, but, you know, it's not game-breaking anything. You know, transporting two players at once, it's not a big deal. I just, I'm kind of disappointed overall in it. Uh, I do feel like they could have held off on the feature and maybe possibly... Uh, came up with something better other than this bland looking uh, carpet. Uh, but that of course is my personal opinion. There might be some people out there that really uh, love the look of this mount and are really enjoying it. Uh, so that's up to you guys whether or not you want to spend the money on this or not. Uh, moving right along of course we have the uh, epic counterpart of it which is the carpet of flying. Uh, no real difference other than it's a blue carpet uh to be perfectly honest i like this visual graphic better than the legendary so once again my own personal opinion on that moving right along we do have a new companion it is the salvage allosaur uh unfortunately uh other than looks there's nothing really good about this companion unfortunately uh so if you want a little mini uh allosaur to run around by you just for you know role playing or visual effects uh, that's up to you. Uh, it has two offensive slots, a defensive slot, a ring, and double necklace. Uh, the statistics on it are, are not good. I mean, it has no good abilities, uh, very long cooldowns, not very good with bonding at all. Uh, the active bonus is hit points and power. Moving right along, we have the jungle count mount pack again. Uh, nothing has changed out of this. This is all the same from the previous lockbox. Next up, we have the uh, Nine Gods Enchantment Pack. Uh, this is where you're going to get your ultimate mark of potencies, uh, your superiors, graders, and moderates. Uh, I just want to, you know, make a note that uh, the ultimate mark of potencies are going for, you know, more than what they are worth. Uh, you can buy the ultimate mark of potencies from the Wondrous Bazaar, especially if you're VIP rank 12, guys. Uh, they're only going to cost you 93k. Uh, the auction house is, of course, overpriced. People are trying to get anywhere from 105 to 110. Uh, now, if you don't have VIP, then the auction house is the way to go. Uh, however, if you do have VIP 12, make sure you are, you know, only paying 93k with your discounts uh, from the Wondrous Bazaar. Now, they have added some new refinement points: uh, the teal diamond, the violet diamond, the Alexandriaite. Um, the Brilliant Diamond is no longer the top dog anymore. Uh, the Till Diamond and the Violet Diamond will uh, fetch you a little bit of AD as well as high-end refinement points. Uh, but that's up to you. Uh, we also have the Terror and the Briar Wine enchantments coming out of this. So nothing too special. The Terror is still uh, pretty decent. Uh, and then of course we have Opals and Rank 7 enchantments as well. Moving right down the list, we have the Lost Artifact Pack. Uh, now this is where you are going to get your ultimate enchanting stones. 
uh, also known as the UESs. Uh, but however, I don't want everyone to you know get creamy in the pants right away, guys. Uh, the drop rate is beyond atrocious out of these boxes. You cannot rely on these boxes to get your uh, enchanting stones. Uh, you know, you might get lucky. You might pop one here or there. Uh, but thanks to our friends over at Neverwinter Uncensored, they've run the numbers, the lockbox numbers came back, and they are bad. The drop ratios are bad. Uh, we're talking about worse numbers than pulling a legendary before they ch change the legendary drop rates. Uh, so yeah, you cannot rely on this box to be getting your uh, enchanting stones, unfortunately. Uh, currently, the only place to get them is Tomb of the Nine Gods. You are going to have to farm that dungeon non-stop and pray to the RNG gods uh, that you can get a couple drops of these uh, until further content comes out down the road. Hopefully, they will uh, open up more opportunities for us to get more of these enchanting stones. Um, also out of this, the artifact, the Soul Sight Crystal, is definitely going to be best in slot for certain builds and certain classes. Uh, the effect on it uh, to do 50% more damage for 10 seconds to your target, yes. I mean, I could see great weapon fighters and hunter rangers just abusing the hell out of that. Uh, but it is not for every build, it is not for every class. So uh, if you are looking to get a Soul Sight Crystal, they're going fairly cheap. Uh, the green versions, I mean, you can pick up for less than 10k. Uh, the epic versions, they're already down to like 150k, and I'm sure uh, they're going to go down more. So if you are looking to get one of those, please make sure you do snag one while the prices are low uh, and get it refined up to Mythic. Moving right along, we have the uh, companion pack. Uh, nothing really good in here, obviously. The, the companions is the Will-O-Wisp, Laughing Skull, Ghost, and Skeletal Dog. Yeah, we don't really care about any of those. Uh, you can get rank 9s and rank 8 runestones, as well as that 30 companion upgrade token jackpot, uh, as well as your bonding runestones. Uh, and then rank 8 runestones. Uh, you will notice out of this that you will no longer get rank 7s. You know, that's a continued thing, so that's pretty good. You're at least guaranteed uh, to get one uh, rank eight, at least uh, multiple rank eights if you open during a double. So that's up to you. If you want to hold off until a double or if you want to, you know, open them early, that's that's up to you guys. Moving right along, we do have a stronghold packs in the stronghold pack in this box. Uh, you will get um, about four vouchers overall. So you'll get two of the top and as well as two of the bottom. So you're gonna pull at least four vouchers out of this. So if you're still trying to level up your stronghold or you're going for guild marks or whatever the case may be, uh, or if you just wanna sell the pack outright, um, you will fetch you know a decent penny off of these. And then finding round, rounding out the list, we do have the trade bar jackpot. Uh, now we're gonna go through and uh, I'll give you guys my opinion on the worth of the box. Uh, as it sits currently, uh, I still tend to do like the Glorious Resurgence uh, because you can pull, you know, the uh, Legendary Pack, which is going to give you a plethora of options as far as the Legendary Mount. The Legendary Carpet is going to go down in price. No one is going to end up wanting this in the end. Uh, it's already dropping by the day as more people are getting them. Um, like I said, there's not a whole lot of demand for this. Uh, and you can still pop your uh, Glorious Resurgence to get uh, your ultimate enchanting stones. Plus, you'll get that uh, chance at, you know, uh, the Glorious Resurgence pack. Um, the pack has been updated. Uh, instead of doing a brand new updated video on the Glorious Resurgence, I'm, I'm just going to add it in to this video. Uh, the only thing that was added is the Eye of the Giant Artifact. So you're better off still popping Glorious Resurgence because uh, you still have the chance, you know, to get the Lost Artifact Pack, which will contain a chance for the Enchanting Stones. Uh, I do not see um, anything entirely special about the Lockbox of the Lost um, <clears throat> other than the fact that if you really want a Carpet of Flying, that's going to be up to you. Uh, you'll be better opening the Glorious Resurgence, uh, you know, just for the chance to get that legendary pack, which is going to yield you more money than the carpet. Uh, so that's up to you guys. That's going to end the video today. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. That is going to be the lockbox of the lost. Uh, if you have any questions about this, 
uh, or any of the lockboxes in general, please feel free to leave me a comment below. Uh, I will also leave a link in the description to the lockbox playlist, uh, and we'll see you guys in the next video.